everybody, welcome back to the Guitar Tricks channel. I'm Neil, your host. We got a tip and a lesson happening right here and right now. Lesson of the week is on the pick scrape. One of the most recognized sounds in rock and roll. Even though it's a simple technique, there's tricks to make it sound really good. And I'm going to show you those tricks. Tip of the week is using string noise in your favor. That's right, say so you're rocking out. You might notice there's some cool background noise going on. Actually, you can use some of that in your favor, especially if you got like a rhythm going with the right hand. I was doing a recording session once and the, uh, the engineer says, hey, what was that? What did you just do? I'm all like, what? And so I realized that I, these sounds were just popping out that ended up sounding really cool. Even though you think something might not be good from the listener's ear, it sounds cool. So don't leave out all of your background noise. Pick scrape. It's this little thing right here. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. It's been used a lot. It sounds awesome. It's basically just scraping the pick across the strings. But if you just went like that, it wouldn't sound good. Also, normally I would hold a pick with just a little bit of pick left on it. When I pick scrape, I like to leave a little extra to give it room to be flexible and kind of get that little snap, that little tension in there. What you're doing is you're creating some tension, kind of snap. I like to do it on both the lower strings, the A and the E. Starting from just behind the pickup, I rest the pick on the lower two strings. I kind of angle it back a little so it wants to flip forward. And that forward motion is what really creates a good scrape sound. And I like to do it thumb first. Some people like to do it index finger forward. I find it more comfortable thumb forward because then you're in position strike that next chord. Pick scrape sounds great in between sections of a song, like if you're coming into a chorus or you have a big build up coming up in a song, pick scrape fits right in and adds a little oomph to the next part that's coming along. Put this in your toolbox, pull it out when you need it, add it with some other tricks, and you got some cool tricks going on. Hope this helps you out. We'll see you back here. Hey, I know that person. Feel free to leave me a request right here. Uh, on the channel, in the forum at guitartricks.com or on YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, I'll see you back here real soon. Do some scraping, some playing, some inspiration. Guitar will keep you alive and a rocking and a rolling and away we go.